I'm, I'm very sad about it because I love farmers markets. Tunbridge Wells Borough Council have confirmed that the farmers market will be closing in the new year to allow nearby development works at the library and on Mount Pleasant Road to take place. The Tunbridge Wells Farmers Market has been running since 1999 and is usually on for two days of every month. It's normally held here on Civic Way in the heart of the town centre. It was set up at a time when farmers markets were coming of a regeneration, so they were becoming really popular across the country. And the town has some great loyal customers as well, so it's very sociable events and I, and I enjoyed my time there. Some of the people severely affected by the decision are those small and local businesses who run their stalls there. Well, I'm sure they're going to be disappointed because they have, they have stuck through with it through thick and thin, through rain and snow and wind. Um, I'm sure they'll be disappointed. But he has it may not have been an easy decision for the council to make. But there are a lot of circumstances around the closure that is quite understandable. When I worked there, we did discuss a lot about how to drive it forward, other locations. And it, for a council, it's quite difficult to find a new location to run the market in town because where, where it runs at the moment is actually council property. I'm sure it's a very hard decision for them to make to close it. And it's not just stallholders affected by the closure. Very sad indeed, um, but um, I never really bought, there, uh, bought something there because uh, it's expensive. Yeah, it's got a really nice vibe in there, nice people run it. Um, yeah, it's a shame really. I do think it's very sad and as I said, I did buy some shrubs, plants, as well as the food, you know, on there. And I, I am sad that it's closed down, but I'm not surprised. A spokesperson for Tunbridge Wells Borough Council said the farmers market will close in the new year to allow nearby development works to be undertaken. This is not a decision that has been taken lightly. Unfortunately, there is no suitable alternative site where the council can run the market given the need for access to utilities, storage space and access for vehicles. So as the new year approaches, the people who both visit and sell at the farmers market will also be getting ready to say goodbye to one of the town's popular events. Christina Curtis for KMTV.